Welcome to the homework for lesson 17. This is module 5 of grade 3. Please write your name here first. Now it says locate and label the following fractions on the number line. So these are all in halves. So I'm looking for that unit, the fractional unit. So they're all in halves, denominators of 2. So I've got, and I've got numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 are my whole numbers. So to label fractions, I just need to make hash marks in the middle here. So here's 1 half. And 4 halves is going to be over here with the 2. So that's 4 halves goes there. And 5 halves would go next. Locate and label the following fractions of the number line. These are all thirds with denominators of 3. So in between 2, 3, and 4. So I need to mark thirds in between each whole number. So that's two lines makes three equal parts. And not perfect, but close enough. So let's see, two, uh, you may want to start by just labeling these and then you can count them. But um, six, let's see, you know, one whole would be, if we had one whole, that would be three thirds. And two holes is going to be another three thirds, which would be six thirds, and that's one of the numbers we're looking for. So there's our six thirds. And we need eight and 11. So we have six, this would be seven. We could label all of them, but we don't have to. This is six thirds, seven thirds, this is the eight thirds. Then we'd have nine thirds here. Right, this would be nine thirds. You don't have to label it nine thirds, but I'm gonna. Then ten thirds here, and this is eleven thirds. So these are the ones that we had to find. Locate and label fractions on the number line. So now we're looking at. Denominators of four, so that's fourths. So it's three lines makes actually the easiest way to do fourths is to do halves and then make, cut your halves in half. Have, just like when you fold those strips of paper, you fold it in half twice, right? So there's half, and it's e half is the easiest one to get right, to make it look right. So halves of halves. Uh, and you could do all of these this way too, is just label every single fraction and just circle the ones that we're looking for. So we're, for fourths, right, the first hole is going to be four fourths, and then it's going to be another for the second hole at number two, right, the number two is going to be four more fourths, so that's eight fourths. So the hole of three is going to be four more fourths, it's going to be 12, eight plus four, it's going to be 12 fourths. 12 fourths, then we'd have 13 fourths, 14 fourths. Now, you don't have to label every single one. Fourths, 16, but it might help you to do it this way because it's really easy to just count the fourths once you get started and then just look for the ones you need and circle them. So if you're struggling with figuring out where these are, you could really just do it this way. It's more work and it takes a little more time. All right, so we need 20 fourths. That's this one here. And 13 fourths, that's that one there. And 23 fourths, that's that one there. So let's just put some dots and plot those points. Wayne went on a four kilometer hike. 
he took a break at four thirds kilometers. A drink of water at ten thirds. Show his hike on the number line. Include starting and finishing place. And the two points where he stops. So this is a lot like what we've been doing. Is we're going to make this number line. Now we have to mark the endpoints and we have to find the other fractional units. So it's a four kilometer hike. So zero is where he starts. And it's going to take him four whole kilometers. Zero to four. So in between we need a one, a two, and a three for the whole numbers for the kilometers. So if we want to space them out evenly. We need three marks, right? That's a one, a two, and a three. So e three evenly spaced marks. That means one in the middle and one half again and then half again. So there's one, two, and three, just like they're fourths, right? And now we're going to have to, we're looking at thirds for the denominators for his break and his water, his water break. So each whole number is going to have to be chopped up into thirds. So that's two there and two there and two there and two there. All right, so we need four thirds. So one is going to be if we were counting by threes, three thirds, six thirds, nine thirds, right? Every three is going to be nine more thirds, twelve thirds. Those are our whole numbers. Now let's see, where is four thirds? That's going to be one more than three thirds, so that's right here. Four thirds, and I'm going to label this, put a dot here, I'm going to label that B for break. And then the water, I'll label W at 10 thirds. 10 comes right after 9, so that's 10 thirds. Put a dot there to plot that point, and a W for water. Oh, starting and finishing place. So S for start. F for finish, and the two points where he stopped, that's everything we're supposed to do. Ali wants to buy a piano. The piano measures 19 fourths feet long. She has a space five feet long for the piano in her house. Does she have enough room? Well, let's see how many fourths this is. Now it says draw a number line to show and explain your answer. They already drew the number line. But they started at 4 and ended it at 5. Because it's going to have to be less than 5 feet. Because she only has a space that's 5 feet long. So let's think about the whole numbers. right? If we had 0, 1, 2. And maybe you, you already know where to start and everything. You don't need to do this. That's fine if you don't. But you're still going to have to label the fractions. So we're talking in fourths now, right? So this would be right zero fourths, one fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths would be the first whole. Now every whole number is going to be four more fourths. So 4 plus 4 is 8, so 2 is going to be 8 fourths. And 4 more fourths for, oops, that's a 3. 8 plus 4 is 12. We're going to need 12 fourths to make 3. And then for the for 4 feet long, it's 4 more twelfths. So we're just, we're just counting by 4s, right? 0, 4, 8, 12, and 16. So this is going to start with 16 fourths. And this is, next one is going to be 17 fourths, 18 fourths, 19 fourths, and 20 fourths. Her piano is right here. And I'm going to label it P for piano. 
it's a circle 19 fourths just to really show that um, does she have enough room Allie has enough room for the piano now this is one of those questions where she only has a fourth of a foot which is that's three she's three inches left over for the space in her house no that, that means the piano is depending on what kind of piano it is she's not gonna have any room to sit in front of it i mean usually there's a bench you gotta sit down and play it and that's not where you're gonna keep it with just three inches to spare uh, so in real life, she really doesn't have enough room. I mean, it'll fit there, but she has enough room for this. So I'll just say she has enough room for the piano uh, because uh, five feet equals 20 fourths feet. So 19 fourths feet is less than 5 feet.